You've already fulfilled your task as guides. So why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble? Who's there? <sighs> it's time. <laughs> How do you find do out it was here? Way? Hmm, where should I start? Well, I've never been one to beat around the bush, you know. Oh my god, what a twist! I never saw this coming at all. God of Geo would mysteriously perish. It was hidden the whole time? What? Impossible. And that gave Zuvia would subsequently be hidden if it weren't for that lovely little rite of parting ceremony you put together. Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> so you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? The Gnosis from inside the Exuvia. Huh. As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> this says. I'm not asking <laughs> for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. Why? The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. The battle. Okay. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> you could say that. Uh-huh. When Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral of Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. Yeah, like getting sidetracked uh, as soon as we left the cathedral. Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I will be sad. Okay. You can never defeat me. Not I can never defeat you. Boss battle time. <laughs> so it was child the whole time. Fighting talk, I love it. Or was it? Uh huh. You seriously want to come by? So show me all you got. I'll show you much of what I got. So come now, come easy, and don't you dare Okay. Ow. Oh wait, you're uh, you're a high throw. I can easily freeze you. That you cannot be easily frozen.
Electric Stretch. There we go, done. But you still defeated me, even though I kicked your ass? Not bad. I kicked your ass, but you still kicked mine in the end. Wait, isn't my character aligned to Geo? But somehow, in the cutscene, my character is aligned to Animo. No, it's because your character can use multiple elements at once. But in game, you can only use one at once. So. That's somehow you're going to kick my ass anyway, just go after. Nope. Nope. Wow. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna take it. Oh, never mind. I didn't take it. <laughs> Ooh, you want to charge up even more? Okay, charge up even more. Okay, it's not gonna be that simple. Yeah, child. I did not even see that. How much? Oh, that much. Oh, okay. Ooh. Dang. Somehow I didn't break my bones on the way down. Somehow Paimon didn't break our bones on the way down. It's because Paimon can fly. But still full, at least in this cutscene. Okay, No, I don't even have a no sis. What the hell are you talking about? I'm so glad I buffed up. Freaking. Noel, I buffed up Noel for this. I got Barb in there. I sent it everybody at least once or twice. I know what to do. Ow. I upgraded everybody's armor. I upgraded Noel's armor. Max with whatever three star, four star item. Ow. I've had worse. Especially with you, Patrick. I've done boss runs. I've sent weapons and armor. I've done a lot of quests too. Have enough. All right, long story short, I I'll be the analyst. <laughs> ow. All right. Uh, ow. All right. Uh. Ah, dang. Die here. Oh, you wanted to switch? Uh oh. Oh. Look at that weird.
Hydro on Hydro. This time, <laughs> done. Well then, time to cool off. Mm -hmm. It seems the burden of the felt legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. Uh huh. You tried to power up like a Super Saiyan, not realizing it would take a toll on your body. Kind of like the Kaioken from Dragon Ball Z. You get the attack, but you have less defense. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. Mm. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. But I still kicked your ass. Again, now what? That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. Your show of ability today far surpasses yeah, that of your initial assessment of your mind stack. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is the secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Mmm, it's a funny way of saying you're friends by fighting. I'll have to agree with Paimon at least, at least here. I'm sure there are other, what there there are other reasons, but I'll, it's one thing I'll agree with her on. Unfortunately, others. I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given uh -huh. that the gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. Yeah, by what's her name? What? So you mean that Rex Lapis still lives? So there never was a murder in the first place. Yes, it what? so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well first in the Fake your death! What a plot twist! As such, we must now look to our back. I wonder who Rex Lapis is. Jungly. Because why else would he bother collecting stuff for a funeral? I hope if there is comments, never going to be a funeral. The week will be swept away in the process. The and it also implies that um, strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. There was a saying where Paimon did say that he's seen a lot that I can remember. And I'm just kind of like recalling an earlier cutscene. Where it's like this idea that Zhang Li has seen things where work does wear you down. Like he does imply he's got experience seeing things and starting something anew. What is Zhang Li? Frickin' Rex Lapis? Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Patui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. Uh, sure, why not? I will awaken the god that lies dormant in the Guyan Stone Forest. Guyan Stone Forest. Oh god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon, in the Archon War. And who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon Stone Spears ever since. Morax. I wonder what the opposite of that is. Less axe? If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity. Uh -huh. Do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? Uh now that I think about it, it might as well be Zhongli. Wait, the Archon War ended two thousand years ago. How could an ancient god appear in a world now overseas? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey, Boulder said Joseph's permission! Oh, Paimon remembers now. Joseph said he was trying to receive my own eggs. We've been trying to duplicate them. Indeed. 
The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger of our Tsaritsa, breaking the Saturnian might of the GR Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. We want to penetrate something. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Mm hmm. Cutscene time for flashback. Cutscene time for flashback. Or no, cutscene time. Oh man. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Nero, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> huh? He's, he's already gone. Obvious oh, scene is obvious. Uh, what's going on? Uh, that's going on. Washing everything up. The chamber palace is going straight to where that is. It's a movable fortress in the sky. I think Child has literally released the Kraken.